Hello. When I was but a child on the internet, I became very interested in how these things called websites were built. Those were the days of GeoCities, but I quickly learned how to code HTML, the hypertext markup language. But nowadays, you have to learn HTML, JavaScript or TypeScript, I suppose, CSS and Kotlin and whatever else. Yet, at its heart, the web is about exchanging documents with one another. Only, it's become something much more in the last 20 years, and the plain text web dwindles ever further. What is the plain text web? To me, that means a website that only requires basic HTML to function. No JavaScript, none of the fancy mouse over events, just basic links and text. I can look at my website, get all the information I need, and that's that. However, sometimes you just want to view images, right? My wife gave me a watch for her anniversary, and here's the page where that is. I'd like to see those images, you know? How do you do that on the terminal? One thing you might do, if you're using ST like I am, is to patch ST. ST is the simple terminal. It's a small terminal that I like to use. Uh, there's a patch that you can apply to the source code of ST so that the images, when viewed in W3M in ST, are rendered directly in the terminal. I don't really like doing that because of the way the screen tears when you're viewing images. Instead, I just use W3M's own functionality to view images in an external image viewer. So if we go to W3M, big. We just add this one line, T image viewer one. And then we make sure that the key map has this key. Yeah, key map, uppercase P, view image. That means shift P will allow me to view images. And then we add a mail cap file. And we just add this line. And if you don't know, uh, SXIV or NSXIV is an image viewer. So once we've done that, we can just go back to this website and view images. Hey, there you go. And then this one. And then this one. Nice. I'm on OpenBSD, of course, but you can use these same tools on Linux, even on a Mac. Macs have a tool called the Quick Look Preview. Uh, whenever you're on the Finder app and you press the space bar and your image or song or video pops up, that's the Quick Look Preview. So just go to your W3M mail cap file uh, let's see. You want this thing right here. So just uh, go to your W3M mail cap file and add this line and replace that. Yeah. So that it looks like this. Anyway. Anywho. I suppose that's the state of the plain text web. I only wish most websites still held on to the spirit of that old web simplicity. I mean, as I've demonstrated, it's possible to build and consume websites just in the terminal, except for things like Twitter or YouTube, I suppose. You definitely need modern browsers with all the mighty computing power available to you in those cases, right? Right? Huh. Short video today. 
you have any questions for me, be sure to check out my website, josephcho.com. I'm also on Twitter, GitHub, and other social media spaces and places. This is the end. This is goodbye. Today we are parted, but goodbyes are but a temporary ephemeral thing. <clears throat> uh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>